The following was recorded in front of a live studio audience at the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. This is the United Podcast Network. This is Africa Diaspora Connect. Join us as we take the journey from the motherland to America. We share our experiences and learn from them. Here is our host, Kevadi Gaturu. Hey, 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 hey. What's up, folks? Welcome back to the African Diaspora Connect. Chrissy, what's, I haven't seen you in ages. It seems I like know. it. I know. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a long week. I think it has been. It has been. Graduations, all that stuff going I on, know. everything else. You know what I mean? Congratulations. I heard your good. beautiful daughter It's graduated. all good. It's all good. Yeah, I'm going to have on the show next week, as a matter of fact. Yes. Watch out for that one. So, folks, what's going on? Let me pay some bills. This here episode is brought to you by Kepler's Healthcare Staffing, providing nursing solutions to a wide array of facilities, nursing homes, group homes, assisted livings, you name it. It's a one-stop shop healthcare staffing agency offering vetted healthcare staffing solutions, CNAs, LPNs, RNs, Worcester, Middlesex, Hamden counties, we're everywhere. So, it's a woman-owned business, minority-owned, registered in the Chamber of Commerce, so she's legit. CNAs, once again, LPNs, RNs, look no further. Care Plus Healthcare Staffing. Reach out to Naomi Miner at 774-232-9548. And that's how it's done. Yeah. I'm pissed off. Uh-oh. So, so I had a guest. I was supposed to have a guest. I didn't show up. Okay. You know, you know it's, it's, like, it's, like, it's like, okay, you, you lead me along up until whatever, and you're like... Oh, I can't make it. Something urgent has come up. I get it. Things do happen. They do. Well, I'm just pissed off. And then traffic on 495. It was like sick. Took me an hour and a half to get over here today. It's like nothing is working out right. My last call today was, oh, my God, it's, it's, it's pitiful. So today I'm going to rant, folks. ADC, today your host is going to rant. He's angry. And I'm going to pick on topics from a million miles away. And I'm smoking one hell of a cigar. If you're not a cigar smoker who don't like this stuff, tune off. Today's my day. I'm smoking a cigar today. Yes. Like me or not. Ranting. Now, guys, of late, like I wake up, you wake up in the morning, what's up? I'm in 85 million uh, groups that I haven't joined, Okay. I get it. Things are happening. People are passing away. And I understand that. But common courtesy. Ask me to join the group, man. You know, don't, don't just don't assume. Don't just assume that I have to be in your group. And let's discuss these things, guys. This is getting out of hand. It's getting out of hand. You know, we as a community, you know, I read through the obituaries, guys. Whatever city you are in, Worcester, Lowell, whatever you are, read through the obituaries. There is no way that we see so-and-so, boom, whatever, whatever. Why is it in our community that we are so steadfast on believing that we always have to contribute money? It's getting out of hand. This $400 a month, folks, for me, I can't. It's just getting out of hand. I've tried to preach about life insurance. Nobody listens. It is what it is. Life goes on. I get it. But folks... It's not going to be those that have gone. It's those we leave behind. You're gone. You're gone. It's over and done with. But it's those you leave behind. The burden you leave us with, your friends, your family. This week alone, three folks have passed away. This week within Massachusetts, just within this year's state. And these folks are under 40 years old, 40 years young. There are issues out there. I know there are issues, there are addictions, there's whatever. But folks, man, it's going to come a time when Someone's going to be in that refrigerator for months on end. And I hate to say this. Unless we change the way we think and how we value one another, folks, imagine having your brother in a morgue for a month because you cannot raise money to bury them. Because we are spread thin. And you heard it from me, Africa Diaspora Connect. Let's start checking ourselves, man. You know, we, we, our parents are aging. It's, 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 that's given. They're at a point where I'm middle-aged, so they're at a point where COVID is there, they're getting older. That we have to address. But on top of that, it's everything else. Find a centric group of folks that can stand by you to the, to the, to the end or do something about it. But folks, let's start checking ourselves. Let's start thinking about this stuff. So that's my first rant. Now, my other rant. Oh my God. 
so WhatsApp groups, right? So there's always these couple of people in a WhatsApp group that will just drive you bananas. There's always that one character. In whatever group you are, I'm in like high school forums. I'm in my primary school forums. I got my boys forums over here. You know, like I got Sam Rack over here. I got, I got Strathmore, I got Lavington, you know. But there's always a character in those groups that just always drives everyone nuts. Like seriously, how does that work? Like how do you have, and it's, 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 like, it's like a plague. It's like, <laughs> like every time, you, any comment they make, is always going to be negative. And I ask myself, like, how do you live life like this? You WhatsApp people over there who just disturb the whole, everything that's going on over there. Stop it. Come on now. You know? But you know what? I guess it makes the world go around. But please, man. It, it, it's, it's, it just gets unnerving sometimes. I know most of you don't even read messages out there. I'm, I'm the kind of person, I'll get caught up in the evening, you know, sometimes, you know, sometimes I get involved, sometimes I like to yap a lot, it's all, it's all good, my mind's just aimless, whatever, idle banter. But man, seriously, it's not that serious, you know, just calm down. People fighting in the groups, what the hell for? It's not that serious, all right? Let's calm down, let's all get along, all right? Let's all get along, and then there's that left, boop, gone, boop, disappeared. It's not that serious, it really isn't. So, let's get along, no more fights on the WhatsApp channels. Ah, another one. Oh my God, this is another one that's really driving me nuts. What else? If you're still taking selfies or vaccinations at this time, stop it. It's how many, it's still taking vaccinations? No, listen. People are doing that? Yeah, to date. Look. Really? That, yeah, like, okay, kudos. Okay, uh, week one, when they came out, I get it. Week two, fine, first. But it's been like, Stop it! You, we get your vaccinations, all right? Keep it to yourself. We don't care. We, we don't care. Oh, I got my vaccination. So? And? It's been three months. If you, be, if you haven't had it by now, you've been late, or whatever the case may be. Keep your vaccinations to yourself, all right? That's all I'm saying. I'm ranting today. I'm in that mood. Uh, one hell of a cigar over here. What's, my, what's another rant I have in mind? Uh, we've got... Oh, I remember oh, another one. You got it. Oh. Man... <laughs> Those relatives of ours back in the motherland, I'm actually firing, I'm firing, I'm firing my caretaker. This, this guy, I swear to God, <laughs> this guy. Our audience is laughing. They are obviously already in oh the Oh my what God. What is happening? No, no, it's like you give them your blood, sweat, and tears. Like you do everything possible for these folks. And they still think they can get one by you. Like it's never good enough. You're fired. On live television, where yes, you know yourself, <laughs> you are fired. No, no, it, it's too much. And the only time they hit you, the only time they hit you up, is when they want some money. Of course. Like, like seriously, who, who just say hi to me or say hey, what's going on? It's been a minute. Whenever I see that, I don't even pick up. I, messages all. Sa- enough is enough. Yeah. You know, enough is enough. Come on now, let's 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 keep this one hundred. And then. Tardiness, being late, I s- yep. there is the worst thing in the world, and especially in my culture here. Folks, let's be on time. Let's just make an effort every so often. If you're supposed to meet at a certain time, be on time. Be before time. And if you're running late, just call up, text, I'm running late. Time is money. My dad was a stickler. If my dad, oh my God, rest in peace, Mze. My dad, once, he once had some visitors at his, at his, at his crib. And they were supposed to show up at 5 o'clock. They showed up at 6.30. They came in, he said hello to them. Then at 7 o'clock, he, he left. He's like, guys, I have things to do. He left his visitors in his house. That's my dad for you. <laughs> yeah. You're late. You said 5 o'clock. We're meeting from 5 to 7. You come at 6.30. The meeting is over at 7. I'll see you later. Sayonara. Wow. I'm in just that mood today. Africa Diaspora Connects. You know I love you. What about contractors? What's been going on? Oh, oh, God. Uh-oh. Contractors. Those are the scum of, scum of the earth. They tell you they're coming. They tell you they're going to do this. They're going to do that. They tell you it's going to take two weeks to get it done. It costs you three times as much when, there's, when it's all said and done. Okay? It's, it, it, it's, it's going to be two months before it's over and said with. What's the hell with these contractors? Guys, get a, contractors, I got my eyes on you. Yeah. You know, if you say you're going to do it, do it on time. Be on time and come on the, come on the value. Come on the par. It's just contractors. They're a menace to society, if you ask me. But that's just 
my approach. That's what I think. So, how are we doing on how are we doing on, on, on how are we doing on uh, on, on rants? We're good. We're good. I yeah? think I think you were upset about delivery guys as well. Oh my god, saying? that delivery space will be there between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. So you're sitting there between 10 and 4. You can't do deadly squats. All right, like the world revolves around them. And then when you decide just to run an errand. It's been, it's, it's 2.30 when you just decide, oh, hey, we're here, where are you? That literally happened to me last week. What happened? I was having some furniture delivered. Yeah. The window was 10 to 12. Mm -hmm. I said, no problem. I made an appointment here at the studio to do a show with somebody yep. from 12.30. So I gave myself 30-minute buffer. I live five minutes away. You do. So I get a, I get a call at 11.30, or no, a message. He's running too at, like he's running late. Yep. I'll get back to you. Mm -hmm. I'll say, okay, no problem. I'm waiting. I'm, a, I'm waiting in five minutes for someone to get back to me. Nothing. I call his superior. What's going on? Oh, he's running late. I said, no problem. I only have to be gone for an hour. So can he just come after that? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, so he's going to come exactly when I'm not going to be home. It always happens. Luckily, we, uh, we came to an agreement. The guy ended up eating his lunch in the parking lot of my apartment building while I came and did my job. And then he came up and brought my furniture inside. My so. pet peeves and why we yeah. rant day in, night out. But folks, at the end of the day, take a deep breath. It's a woo moment. You know, it's not always that serious. No. So listen, I think I'm going to be done. I think I'm almost wait, done. Wait, what wait. else? What did I leave? There was some guy at a bar. You were oh, as well. God. Don't leave that out. <laughs> I've even gone to a bar. Unless, you know, sometimes I'll go sit at a bar. That's just my thing. I go think I don't even need. Some guy wants to talk to you. And it's a guy. Just, hi, how are you? And, you know, I'm like, hey, what's going on? And all of a sudden, they think you're best friends. And they keep talking and talking. And I'm like, okay, how do I tell this to shut up? I just came to be by myself. Leave me alone. And they go on and on and on. And I'm like, I just got to leave. Don't talk to me at the bar. Le leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> leave me alone. If I'm not talking to you, leave me alone. Or just say hello. Keep walking. Africa diaspora. It's all good. Little entertainment, little humor. You know me. I'm your right. bands, man. I bring it all the way anytime in. I want to appreciate you guys. Subscription. Our first year anniversary is coming up. July 30th is going to be off. Our first year anniversary, man. Well, we're going to have to do a big we, show we, for we, that. We, we got to, man. we got to get the crew you know, on I, I, I was, you know, And guys, man, I was hoping we can get to 2,000. I was hoping to see 2,000 subscriptions. Well, help us. You know, let's, let's just, come on, let's push this thing. We give you everything you ask for. We do the best that we can. We're trying to broaden this scope. But it's up to you guys. I'm here for you. I want to entertain. I want to grow with you. That's all I'm trying to say. That's why I'm pissed off because we're not 2,000. That's another reason I'm still pissed off. And I, I know I do a damn good job out there. So and by the way, yeah. Lucy Painter, yeah. all 2,000 oh, views. Oh, wasn't that fantastic? She's like, two, Lucy, I think it was the prayer. That, that I think she, she said a prayer at the end. All right, maybe we need to do that, that more that often. I think we need more <laughs> prayers, I guess. So pray for us as well. Also, <laughs> like and subscribe and share. That would be great if you want to pray for us too. That will take that do as it, well. Do it. They'll be answered. They and will now, be answered. Next week's show, though, give the people a little oh, more of a taste. God. What are we doing? So next week, it's, it's graduation season, folks. Yeah. It's graduation season. Uh, uh, my, my daughter just graduated, uh, and, then, and then there's this gentleman who, who's going to just blow your mind, uh, Brown University. He's going to come and introduce himself. Uh, his name is George Kubai, and for those of you who know this cat, uh, his, his, uh, his video went viral. I think he was a commencement speaker or something. Maybe he was a valedictorian. Brown, it's an Ivy League institution right here in yeah. Rhode Island. He is going to be right here on his show, an engineer from Brown University. Awesome. I think born, we have four born, guests. Born and raised... In Kenya, came to this country when he was eight years old. He's 22, and he still speaks Kikuyu. Kudos, man. Wow. That, that's, that's one hell of a dude. So I'm going to have him. I'm going to have my daughter yep. and her two friends. Uh, one of them is an accounting major and the public health. So they're all going to be here with their garbs, and they're going to walk us through their journey. And guess what? We're going to get awesome. into the demographics. Because these, my demographics, you guys don't listen. You listen for two minutes. You know, come on now. I, I'm, I'm trying to venture out to the younger generation. Dang. And hopefully these new grads will be like, um, you know. Yep. Give Attention us a little, span. A, a little bit, a little bit. Something, yeah. something modern, something new, something borrowed, and something Ooh, blue. Maybe they can TikTok us. Something that like that. Thing? Something, anything to grow this thing. It's got to get done. We can do it. The one year anniversary is coming. Yes. Africa Diaspora Connects. I'm your hostess with the mostest. Kevadi Gaturu saying sayonara. Let's see you at the next episode. Peace out. <laughs>
The views and opinions expressed by the hosts, guests, or callers of this program do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe, the United Podcast Network, its partners or affiliates.